bring it into the law. It is having an evil heart upon me. My God, I want you to know it is a sudden warning, my God. Not to have an evil heart upon me. Can someone say unbelief? I want you to understand, praise the name of the Lord. If you want to be successful in the present life that you're living in, I want you to know, hallelujah, your success, hallelujah, depends on your belief. Can someone say praise the Lord? Can someone say praise the Lord? You see, I want you to understand, hallelujah, my God. If you allow that which you heard and you're believing in and trusting in to slip out in the north, my God, hallelujah, you can cause your all future, your destiny, hallelujah, that God has purpose for you, you can cause that to slip also, hallelujah. But oh, my God, everything happened around us and among us, my God, and it causes, you know, one person called me on yesterday evening, and that person called me on yesterday evening, I got, and the individual said to me that, uh, Bishop, I want you to have uh, the Bishop of that person to only praise the name of the Lord, and that person will, will call me pastor, and then they say, Bishop, they said pastor, they, 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 they said pastor, you know, some people call, call you by, by the Bishop, by the title, and some people call you pastor, by God, whatsoever it is. You know, and the person said, you know, and my, 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 my son seems to be showing some suicidal and, and some suicidal and, and signs. And, and those suicidal signs, you know, and I'm scared about it. And the young man that she's talking about is a young man that was in an elder in the church. And the young man and his wife were going into that certain state. And my God, and I don't know, I can't say what is happening, but I want you to understand, my God, she's saying that, that the things that he said to her, the things that he's saying to her, it seems as though he's contemplating and taking his own life. But somebody, I want you to understand, my God, the life, the world that we are living in, there are so many things that are happening to cause us to become depressed. There are so many things that are happening, my God, to cause us, my God, to plunge in the place of depression. Hallelujah. And this is the reason why you need to learn how to trust in God. Hallelujah. You need to understand the importance of not allowing that to your head. And you need it to swim you. Hallelujah. So Paul, he warns. Hallelujah. And he warns earnestly. Praise the name of the Lord. My God. That, that you don't have an evil heart of unbelief. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if you look in Hebrews chapter, praise the name of the Lord. Hebrews chapter 3, we will read from verses 12 to 17. But praise the name of the Lord. Hebrews chapter 3, we are looking from verses 12 to 17. But I want to, we want to write it and see, I want you to understand. This, this is the second seventh warning that Paul gave to Christians. And we want to rightly divide that. So we, are, we want to rightly divide it. We want to rightly divide it. We want to understand what Paul is talking about. Amen. So my God, so we are looking at Hebrews of the tree. We are looking from 12 to 19. Praise the name of the Lord. And we are looking from 12 to 19 of Hebrews of the tree. Praise the name of the Lord. Because I want you to understand the hallelujah. My God, and before we go hallelujah to that, it is important to know also that the danger of unbelief is, a, is, a, is a, the danger of not taking God at his word. Amen. Yes, the danger of unbelief, and before we pray the name of the Lord, the danger of unbelief is the danger of not taking God at his word. But before we rightly divide the scripture that I give to you, pray the name of the Lord, I said to you, the danger of unbelief is the danger of not taking God at his word. You see, Paul also mentioned that if you look at and Hebrews 11 verse 6, let's go back there a little bit and pray for the Lord. You can put a little uh, marker where I, I sent you because we want to write in the Bible for a few, for a few minutes. Pray for the Lord. That is where we go. But we are looking at Hebrews 11 verse 6. When Paul said it, he said, But without faith, it is impossible to do what? To please him. For he that cometh unto God, what? Must believe 
that he is, and that he is there in order of them that will walk. There's a gently seeking. So I said, the danger of unbelief is the danger of not taking God at his word. Can someone talk to the Lord? The very Christian may hear the word of God without a mixture of faith. A Christian can hear the word of God and there is no my God without a mixture of faith. Praise the name of the Lord. And Jesus wants to speak to God, talk to God out. My God in the book of Luke. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus spoke to God. Hallelujah. But I want to go back to Hebrews chapter 3 verses 12 to 19. If you want to read Hallelujah. My God. This warning, this, this solemn warning that Paul gave to the Christian or to the church that we ought to take heed of. The tell us how praise the Lord. And Paul said in verse 12, he said, Take heed, brethren. Can someone say, Take heed? Take heed. And take heed there. Hallelujah. It is a solemn warning. Can someone say, Praise the Lord? And my God, when one said, Take heed, hallelujah. It is a warning. Can someone say, Praise the Lord? So we want to look at this warning. Paul said, Take heed, brethren. Lest there be in any, in, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of what? Of unbelief. In departing from the whole, from the living God. He said, but exhort one another out. Hey, I want you, as we go along reading this scripture, I want you to seek my God, understand it as a solemn warning, my God, the Christians, a solemn warning to the church, and we ought to know, hallelujah, what we ought to take in on now. Can someone talk, praise the Lord? Can someone talk, praise the Lord? He said, but exhort one another daily. Why it is called today? Lest, lest any of you be hardened to the deceitfulness of what? Be hardened to the deceitfulness of what? Sin. Of sin. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. To the deceitfulness of what? Sin. Of sin. He said, for we are, for we, for we are made what? Partaker of Christ if we do what? If we are partaker of Christ if we do what? If we hold the beginning of our confidence. If we hold the beginning of our confidence, how? Take us unto the what? Up to the end. So my God, it's a, if, if we all be our partakers there, for we are partakers of Christ only. If we all the beginning of our confidence, steadfast unto the end. Can someone say praise the Lord? Can someone say praise the Lord? Seven more in my God. Holding our confidence in Christ, our belief in Christ. That which you heard in my God and know that it is well able, hallelujah, to keep you. It is well able. It is, it is well able to create. Can someone talk praise the Lord? The word of God has power to create. Hallelujah. When you hear the word of God, don't take it slightly. Can someone talk praise the Lord? Can someone talk praise the Lord? But I love that word. It says, stand fast unto the end. He says, why did the said, today if I will, today if you will do what? Hear his voice, how and not your heart. As in the provocation to somebody, two things you'll see here. Remember, we are rightly divided. Paul prayed the name of the Lord. He's speaking about a time of provocation. Amen. Yes. And he's saying, My God, how do you ought to also take that as an example? Can tell us how praise the Lord. He's saying, You ought, my God, I want you to understand everything that happened to Israel, the Bible teaches, it is for our example. Can tell us how praise the Lord. So Paul is saying here, my God, don't let this thing slip. My God, it happened to them, it don't happen, it don't have to happen to you. Hallelujah. And I always tell people, I always tell people, my God, that and observation is free. But experience, most of the time, it costs a lot. Amen. So how do you understand? If Israel went through it, Hallelujah. It is for my observation. Amen. Yeah. But why should I want or try to experience what 
Israel experienced when I got it wasn't nice for them at the end. Hallelujah. But praise the Lord. So Paul said, he said, my God. Paul said it. He said, we, uh, we ought to make sure, hallelujah, that we don't harden our heart as in the provocation. He said, for some, when they had heard, they did what? He said, some of them, they heard the word. Some of them, they heard, but they did what? My God, I want you to understand. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. My God, we are right in the Bible. You tell us we are right in the Bible. So what Paul is talking about, praise the name of the Lord, when he said, Son, hallelujah. My God, you can put a little pin. Praise the name of the Lord by the scripture that we are reading. But I'm going to take you back because we are right in the Bible. So I want you to understand what Paul, exactly what Paul was talking about. Amen. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. So you will put a pin there because we will continue. Praise the name of the Lord. Look at what he said, for some, hallelujah, for some, praise the name of the Lord. So we are looking at numbers, look at numbers, hallelujah, to the falling verses too. Numbers to the falling verses too. Praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, remember, my God, when we come to church here in school, praise the name of the Lord and me. My God, the objective is, uh, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah, is the word of God. Can some of us praise the Lord? So Numbers to the four and verses two, hallelujah. The Bible reads here, hallelujah. And all the children of Israel did in what? All the children of Israel did in what? The murmured against Moses and against who? Aaron. And the whole congregation said unto them, Was God that we had what? Died in the land of Egypt. Or was God we had died in this what? In this wilderness, my God. You're seeing in Moses, it will frame, my God, that the children of Israel are provoking God. Come up to God. The Bible said they hear the word of God. Moses, my God, would have spoken the word of God to them. But I don't feel understand. They were saying, my God, it is better, my God. We have stayed in Egypt for in sin. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, die in this wilderness. Hallelujah. So, my God, the Bible is saying, dear, hallelujah. What Paul is referring to here it is the my God, that that of itself it was a provocation. Hallelujah! Like Paul is saying, these things provoke God. Amen. When people murmur, when people, my God, when people, when people don't, my God, allow the word of God to go on to the word of God steadfastly, and they're allowed to slip, come on to God. And that is what happened with the children of Israel. They allowed the word of God to slip. My God, they forget what the Lord told them. They forget what the Lord did for them. They forget where the Lord has brought them from. Hallelujah. 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 So praise the name of God. And in, in verses 4, hallelujah, look at verses 4 of the same chapter. That is in the book of Numbers. The Bible reads it, and the Lord said unto Moses, How long will this people do what? My God, we are in Numbers to the 14, sorry, verses 11. It's verses 11. I, I want you to go praise the name of the Lord. What I do? Verses 4? Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. That is Numbers chapter 14, verses, verses 4. Let's look at verses 4 first. You will go to 11 after. Praise the name of the Lord. Numbers 11. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me just. Numbers 11 and verses 4. Praise the name of the Lord. I know how I'm here. Praise the name of the Lord. So that's Numbers 11 and verses 4. Praise the Lord. The Bible reads it. And they said one to another what? And they said one to another what? Make a captain. Make a captain and let us do what? Return unto Canada. Return unto, um, unto Egypt. So, so Moses were refrained, my God, to the children of Israel behavior. Amen. My God, what they were saying is that God was not enough. Come on tonight. What they were saying is that God promises, my God, it is not here and not amen. But God promises we are not sure about it. Amen. So let us make ourselves a captain. Let us find a captain and go back in the city. Come on tonight. Let us find a captain and go back into Egypt. Hallelujah. So my God, the Bible said what Moses said is that this, my God, it was provocation to 
Only Joshua and Caleb gave it to the promise. 
from the devil. So the all that God has promised them, hallelujah, my God, because of our heart and evil act of unbelief, they did not make it into the promised land. They tell us our very God. And my God, in saying that, praise the name of the Lord, look at me, praise the name of the Lord, in 1 Corinthians 7, verse 5. Look at 1 Corinthians 7, verse 5, praise the name of the Lord. That is 1 Corinthians 7, verse 5, praise the Lord. The Bible reads in the house but with them, but with many of them, God was not well loved. Please, for they were overthrown well. They were overthrown well. In the wilderness, my God, we are talking about God's people here. We are talking about my God, word, for the word that has been given to these people. When Moses told the people that God intentions to take them to the promised land, a land that is full of milk and honey, a land, my God, where they don't have to dig wells, a land where they don't have to plant no fruit trees, hallelujah. How do they understand God spoke to them through Moses? But the Bible teaches it that God was not pleased, hallelujah. But, but with many of them, God was not well pleased, for they were overthrown, for they, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Hallelujah! But we want to praise the name of the Lord, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Look also at, at because, hallelujah, we may mention of the carcasses here. Look at Numbers of the 14 verses, Numbers of the 14 verses 29. Numbers of the 14 verses 29, praise the name of the Lord. Numbers 14, verse 29. The Bible reads that your carcasses shall what? Your carcasses shall fall in this what? That's what God is saying to the people here now. Your carcasses shall fall into this what? Wilderness and all that will number of you according to your own number from 20 years old and upward which have murdered against me. Can someone tell me it's not? So God is telling you that all that have never had you, that you, got, you, you are not going into the promised land again. It means the promise that I have made concerning you. The promise that I give in relation to your blessings. The promise that I give, hallelujah, in relation to your future. God said, I will not allow you to go there. Your carcass is in me. You will die in the wilderness. Hallelujah. My God, how did I be? Why? Because they have an evil act of unbelief. Can someone say unbelief? Can someone say unbelief? So unbelief, my God, it is such a dangerous thing. Hallelujah. If you go back, praise the name of the Lord. From a scripture reading in the Hebrews of the tree, verses 18, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Verses 18, the Bible reads that, and to whom Paul, Lord, uh, Paul again, Hallelujah. The warning Christians and warning the church. He said, Unto whom swear ye that they should not enter into his rest, but to them that they want. To them that they want, believe not. So we see that they could not walk. So we see that they could not walk. They could not enter in because of what? Why they could not enter in because of what? Unbelief. Because of unbelief. They could not enter in because of unbelief. Praise the name of the Lord. You know it. Praise the name of the Lord. If you look at it. And then Hebrews took the four. Look at Hebrews 4 and verse 6. Praise the name of the Lord. Paul said in Hebrews 4 and verse 6, he said, See, therefore, it remains that some must enter therein. And they to whom it was first preached, Enter not in because of what? Money. They enter not in the day that was first preached. And I said to you that Israel is no example. Can someone talk about the law? Can someone talk about the law? And if we take example from Israel, we will be successful.